up you guys today we are going to be talking about the new age way of getting a divorce without actually having to go through the hassle of getting legally divorced you guys mm. but before we get into it it's mary and Amma. we invite you guys to like and subscribe and comment Ooh, down you. below so um the mayor. former new york mayor of um <laughs> yeah the former mayor of new york de blagio and his wife are getting separated yeah um they are not leaving their home though. Yeah. But they can date other people. But they say they're not going to get divorced. But they're going to be separated and they're going to live in the same house. And they, um, you know, will date other people. So it's not like an open relationship. It's like they're actually divorced. Yeah. Um, and then you have, and they were together for 25 years, which is like a quarter of a century. I just and don't then understand. You have uh, what's her name? Kyle Richards. Yeah. And her husband, Mauricio, from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. They are also um, separated after 27 yeah. years. And they are also going to stay in the same house. They have three kids. The former mayor, again, and his wife um, have two children. So it just, I was like, wow, is this like a new age thing? Because we know economically it's been a mess in America. So is this like this new age way of doing divorce now where we stay in the same house, we go continue to date. That way, a lot of times the children also are still at home because kids yeah. are not leaving the home quickly anymore because of the economic issues. For me, I feel like so, it's a horrible situation. I'm going to tell you horrible. why. As a child, mm. my parents aren't together anymore. Yeah. But I have to be seeing who they're bringing into the household. Yeah. Mom is downstairs having sex with whoever. Daddy over there having sex with, with Shawnice or whoever, mm -hmm. Clarice or whatever. Right. And I have to be like, it's like, what if I see mom... There's four adults. Yeah, so it's like you have house, to see you your mom bring on. somebody in. It's yeah. like you're the child, right? And yeah. then what if it's still like this petty situation where yeah. the parents are like, well, I'm going to show you that I'm out here really dating. And then he's like, well, and then he comes to the child, well, you know, who's your mom dating? Do yeah. you know who Uncle Jimmy is? Yeah. Yeah, Uncle uh, Jimmy, he's the new mayor. He's a millionaire. Uh, what? Like, you know, all of that is just this drama. And I just feel like it's horrible for the kids, yeah, right? It's icky, if anything, cringy. If anything, get separate houses. But y'all can still keep that house or whatever. So you and don't I, like this new age thing? I think it's stupid. Especially yeah. as somebody who's 24 years old. And, and like, it, it's like if you and dad stay together, but you have decided house. to go shack with somebody, he decided to go shack with somebody, but and we all kumbaya in, in the house. I'm like, I'm here. Well, it might I'm not be gonna, kumbaya. That's the thing. It's not going to be kumbaya. it's not kumbaya. And it's fresh, too. You guys are just separated. And now it's like... And I'm sorry, it's all but kumbaya. We're gonna date, but we're going to be in the same house, though. The thing is, though, it's all kumbaya until somebody actually finds the love of their life and they want to get divorced. And now you're like, oh, you want to make this official? Oh, hell no. And like, it don't make no sense. Like, why would you do that? Yeah. I'm sorry, it's a bad, and like, it sounds yeah. good for whoever was smoking or drinking that day, but yeah, maybe it's it not good a good for the selfish parents. <laughs> But I know I don't what's know about sounds, the kids. Because I know Kyle Richard, I think she has two daughters who are like in their 20s, and then she has one who's still a teenager. So it's like, how does that teenage, like the teenager, like she's at a very tender age. Uh, very important age, too. Like she needs stability. And I don't know how this new, new way of living helps her with her stability. But, you know, that husband, uh, Mauricio, um, I don't know. I always kind of felt like he he seemed to me to be a cheater, just, and it's awful. Like right, just looking at him, he seemed to be to, to be a cheater. He looked like a cheater. I don't know how cheaters look, but he looked like a cheater. Like to he was me. too good looking. He looked like a cheater because Kyle also um, is also beautiful. Um, but he looked. What do y'all think? Did Mauricio look like a cheater to you? To me, he's always Being kind of a wandering eye, like a cheater. Not really. It's not, it's not like obvious. He wasn't doing obvious cheating. But to me, he always, I don't know, it was some energy he had. I look at him, I say, I don't know if this man faithful. But they always seem to have a really good relationship. Like right. he seemed to love her, she seemed to love him. They seem to be crazy about each other. Um, I, I am kind of one of those people who watch Real Housewives of um, Beverly Hills here and there. Yeah, you know, I don't watch it consistently, but I always kind of admire these this them because you know they were like the good looking couple, 
you yeah. know, who who have been together who since they together. were young. Yeah. I love when someone gets married young and they stay together through the years. And I just, it, it hurts my heart that after 25 years, like they've been married for 27 years, and now y'all are calling it quits. And my thing, when you guys stay in the same house, is it because you guys are hoping for a reconciliation? Or one yeah. person is hoping for rec reconciliation? Yeah, someone is moved just on. the e e uh, economy thing? And that's a very good point you made about it's going to be great until someone finds out love of their life and is like deuces. Like and they're going to be like, what? You so, found who? You're doing what? Oh, yeah. hell no. So then <laughs> now it's like, now how do we separate the stuff? Yeah. And, uh, and then the Bellagio, for you guys to say, like, we're never going to get a divorce, though. We will be separated forever. Like, Because my thing is, it seems like that's a so decision weird. for two people, to right? Make. You both have to be mutually on that same accord. Yes. But you're dating. Until you you're find seeing, somebody. And you're that somebody that strokes your fancy. Like, you're like, no. I want to make this last. And then it's like. Oh, really? Then the war happens. My thing is, I yeah. feel like when you have decided, you have already made that decision to separate or divorce, the war has already started. Mm -hmm. It's either you try to placate the war and play nice That's for now, or like. do you just go through with it's it like, until each, at least until each side has settled, it's right? It's like they're placating, because, but there's going to be this war going to The be war going to come, regardless. Mm -hmm. I'd rather just get it over with, so I can go on with my life and go get the healing, and go get the... Mm -hmm. Get the new love of my life and, or whatever. And leave the space for that person to come your way. Yeah. Because when you still are dealing with this energy right here. Because mm. there's already hurt parties. The fact mm -hmm. that you're separating, somebody has been hurt in this, or both parties has been hurt. Mm -hmm. Or you both have decided this just doesn't work for us and let's move on. Exactly. But how are you really moving on well, when you're living in the same house? with each other. Because that's usually what people say, oh, I've, I've outgrown. Whatever the hell that means. I've, I've outgrown. <laughs> whatever the hell that means. This relationship. I've outgrown this person I, mean, I know what it means but it doesn't make sense it has never made sense to me that's why i'm like you know yeah. but um but yeah very interesting and very. i wonder because usually when one celebrity does one thing it seems like like sheep everybody follows oh we're gonna do this new age thing of doing things so i just thought i just wonder if this was is this the new way people are gonna be doing divorce where okay we're gonna stay together and still kind of be there for the child but then you're dating other people though. yeah so now you're bringing other dynamics in this stuff i mean it sounds great that you guys are going to stay in the same house and co-parent that sounds good but when you say i'm going to bring other entities in this home that nobody knows now this is another thing they children gotta get used to that well, it's going to be a, a we will follow these two stories and see how it goes i know beverly it's gonna is, end badly yeah i think they are still uh, filming the season but yeah this season i will be all up in there i'm not gonna be doing some timing i'm gonna be all up in there watching <laughs> what with beverly yes because it look as though it went real juicy mm. hello i want to know exactly what happened and that they were someone was saying um that apparently Kyle stopped taking off. She had taken off her wedding ring for a while. She hadn't been wearing it. And in fact, she went and got a matching tattoo with her friend Morgan. What? And people were wondering if they were having in a relationship. Now, I don't think. Morgan's I a know unisex Kylie name. is not. Well, so is Kyle. He's not even Kylie. Her name is Kyle. Uh, that's a unisex too, but um, I mean, it doesn't have anything to do with anything. No, I'm just saying, like, is it a, like because you're saying matches that too? Like, is she dating women or is she dating? No, men? well, no, no, no. So, you so said people Morgan. are wondering. Her name is Morgan. Her friend's name is Morgan, and she got a matching tattoo apparently with Morgan. Um, so Ugh. you were saying, well, are they just friends, or are they more than just friends? Now, Mauricio, I know, it has been out there that he is cheating, but I've always looked at him kind of as a cheater, but I haven't seen anything. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But I just kind of look, it's one of those guys, you know, you look at, you're like, mm. but he is, he is fine, and Kyle also is fine. They're both, like I said, they're 
good looking couple good looking couple but yeah i am going to be all up in the real housewives of beverly hills as soon as it comes out next time i'm going to be watching it every week that it comes out because this is going to be so juicy yeah but yes y'all yes. it's mary and i'm uh, leave my choice a like and subscribe and comment down below